Hey guys, back with another review, mixing things up, not a Cybertruck exactly sort of review. Uh, we're going for our first electronics review on this channel. Uh, this is called the Box Blade. It is basically an oscillating blade to help break down boxes. And I'll of course be comparing it to just your average box cutter. Uh, but yeah, I was about to break down my cyber cooler box and figured, you know what, I just got this thing. It's not sponsored at all. They didn't send this to me for free. I bought this on my own and I figured I'd just show you how this thing works since I haven't seen any reviews of it in action yet. So uh, I think I'm gonna strap on a uh, point of view camera and you can see as I use it, how this is gonna look and feel. So be right back. Alrighty, we are back in first person view and let me just show you real quick what came in this box. Get the operating manual. Pretty basic stuff, how to use it, how to change the blade. It does come with a, is this sharp? I don't wanna grab it the wrong way. Comes with an extra blade that is uh, just flat. And there's this little plug as well, a little safety plug that goes in the bottom that will disable it so that uh, when it's plugged, the power button does not function. Uh, but you can see this blade is actually serrated in there. And how this works is you just hook this onto some cardboard, push the button and pull down, making sure you stay parallel to this angle. And ideally it cuts through it like butter. So uh, let's compare that with a actual box cutter. Alrighty, here we are now with the box. I'm gonna get this just fairly brand new blade and Try not to cut my finger off by looking through this camera lens. This is a very thick box. I also don't want to cut my Cybertruck tailgate, so Just try and get this started And let's try the same thing on the other side with the box blade. It's kind of tricky since it's on the corner. It's kind of difficult to like hook it in there. Oh, there we go. That was a bit easier. And... It's, it's difficult to align it because it's hard to see the angle that I'm supposed to be at. There we go. Wait. Hmm. Oh, maybe because there was tape under here. Let's get a side view. So when you go through the, the tape like that, it uh, definitely feels like it struggles a bit. Um, such a large box, it's a little difficult to, to break down. See, there's there's moments where it feels buttery smooth and then other times where it, it almost feels like it's getting stuck try again with the normal box cutter Ugh. how am i gonna do this you might not see the top part but See, that's, that's nice and smooth, so I don't know if this is even worth it to have a box blade. I suppose the main reason to have one is the safety factor, because this is 
obviously scary to use a real blade. Let's just cut this for fun. See, I didn't make it all the way through at the bottom. Switch back to the box blade. All right, so it seems like this is a great tool, but you're probably going to still need a normal box cutter to get through weird bits of tape or maybe an, an angle, like a corner like this one where there's, like there's not really an easy way to fit this thing in this corner and make it all the way through. So if you do get the box blade, don't think you're going to just be throwing out all your box cutters. You're definitely gonna need an old fashioned box cutter to break everything down. Um, in fact, I think what the trick might be is to basically get whatever you're breaking down started with a normal box cutter get through all the tape and the weird corners. Oh, my blade's coming out. Glad I saw that. Well, I will have to figure that out in a second. <laughs> but once you get it started, I feel like the box blade is gonna be better for really just taking the large pieces and turning them into smaller, more manageable parts. Let's try this one. Yeah, it like, there's like a sweet spot where it just like zooms through it. Zero effort. And I do like the safety aspect so you don't stab yourself. Um, but yeah bought this, uh, keep, kept seeing ads for it online and figured I'd try it out. Overall, probably add this to my you don't need one. This is a superfluous purchase as always with me. <laughs> you definitely don't need this, uh, but I could see it could have its moments where it would be useful breaking down large quantities of boxes which i am very quickly accumulating a lot of ah see but these corners it really struggles to get in there so not bad product for their first iteration but i could see it needing a little en enhancement in version two dare i say it'd be nice to have like a a real blade or something or maybe you could have a way to flick this flick this up to remove the the uh, safety cover way to disengage that like a pinch pull it up so that you have an actual blade blade to get through the the awkward corners and the tape that could be a nice enhancement um but yeah I would give this product uh, it's gonna be probably a six out of ten. This it's pretty pricey. I think it was almost a hundred bucks even after a discount. Um, it's fairly heavy. The charge is supposed to last a long time, but it it's just so extra like you don't need this that I feel like that kind of takes a hit. Like you, you can use a, a cheap, normal box cutter uh, that'll cost you $10. So overall, I'd say just save your money and get it done the right way and just be super careful and don't cut yourself. And you don't need one of these if you're careful, but maybe if you're elderly, I guess you might benefit from having a little bit easier way to break down boxes. Uh, safely since the risk of cutting is pretty much almost none uh, so yeah I'm gonna 
call that. That's my review of the box blade. Six out of ten. Don't really need it, but if you got the money to burn like me, then sure, grab one, pick one up. Could come in handy in some use cases for you. All right, till next time, be sure to hit a like, follow, and subscribe. See you later.